holiday season, and this is the time of year where, you know, sometimes bosses and employers are trying to cut back, and so they don't give you like a full-blown party. They'll have like the potluck, right? So it can make sound like they appreciate you, but you're actually paying for it. The potluck. You gotta look, watch out for that. I went to an office potluck one time, and this lady, she was getting promoted or moving somewhere else. She was going to another job, and she had brought chocolate cake for everybody. She had this knife that she was wielding, and there was this one guy in particular, I don't know, his name was Michael or something. Make sure Michael gets a piece of his cake. She wasn't really smiling. It was like a vindictive kind of thing. But I noticed one thing. All of us were, that were eating that chocolate cake, we were getting sick. We were like, oh my God, you know. I call it, beware of the passive aggressive postal employees during these potluck times, yes. They might be trying to do something and get even, even the score. You don't know what you did. You don't know what somebody else did. You're eating their food and they're getting even with you, you know? You're taking a bite of that, what you think is chocolate cake. You go, this doesn't taste like chocolate cake. I'm sitting here drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm spitting it out. This doesn't taste like lemonade. You get angry employees. Not everybody's happy with their job. There's some people that are just upset and won't mind taking it out on you and me. Yeah. Anybody ever get, uh, they say experts say that we're supposed to be getting like seven to eight hours of sleep. Do you get seven to eight hours of sleep? I don't know anybody that gets seven to eight hours of sleep. I think we're just a sleep deprived society. Uh, in the news we had a couple of weeks ago, in the airline uh, in um, Denver, Colorado, it went over and stopped by like 150 miles. They were trying to get in touch with the pilots. They couldn't reach the pilots. You know, the pilots said allegedly they were on their laptops. Well, we know pilots don't get very much sleep. They were probably, you know, in the cockpit going, oh, uh, they're probably nodding off, you know, trying to cover for each other. I think we're just sleep deprived, sleep deprived. Any, uh, any snores in the house? Anybody snore in the audience? Yeah. If you if you're not sure, do what I do. I check your rib cage because whoever you've been sleeping with has been banging them with their elbow, and you got some bruises around your rib cage. That means you a snore. Yeah. You ever sleep with a snore? Snores can be. I was sleeping one time, and I was just like, you know, I was like nodding off, and I was like. Ugh. I woke myself up. I was snoring so loud. I couldn't believe that. That happens. You're waking yourself up snoring. And I had, uh, one time I had a girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, sleeping, sleeping in bed, all of a sudden I hear boom, I hear this tiny boom, you know. I was like, what is that, you know? And then I look up and raise the covers and, uh, and, she, and I find that she had farted. And like the vapors of that fart, you know how those potent ones are like under the covers? They just like, the vapors just knocked me out, and I just fell back to sleep. I didn't know what happened after that. Yeah. You don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know those undercover farts. Those are mean. They'll take you out, take you under. I had a, another time, uh, I, uh, an ex-girlfriend, I was sleeping, and I just like, you know, I woke up because I was out of air, you know, and I knew she was probably putting a pillow over my face trying to shut me up because I was so loud, you know. And I woke up one time and I had a girlfriend, she was like looking at me like she wanted to kill me. I had to end that relationship. I die, I want to die awake. I want to see something coming. I don't want to die in my sleep. Going to be some woman, you know, that's like just angry, you know, that I'm making so much noise. You ever sleep with your mouth open? Fall asleep and your mouth is open. And you wake up, you know, and I know if you like me sometimes, fellas, you've seen your lady fall asleep with her mouth open. And you've been tempted to do, how should I say, mm -hmm. sensual things with your woman's mouth open? Don't do it. You know why? Don't do it. You know why. It's called teeth. <laughs> teeth. It hurts. You end up walking with a limp. What else we have? Uh, you anybody drool in their sleep? Any droolers? Yeah? You know how you can tell when you drool in your sleep, you wake up. Pillows all pasted against your face. You don't even have to shave. You just pull that thing off. Just peel it off. 
sometimes when you, uh, how should I say, sometimes fellas, when we like finish too early, uh, when we're with our lady and we finish too early, women can get revenge on us now. If we got a lot of money right now, because uh, they have this space hotel that they are building right now in outer space. You used to be able to just go to the hotel, no tell, no tell. They're developing a hotel in outer space right now. And it's supposed to be finished by the year 2012. The catch to that, you know how much it's gonna cost? It's like 4.4 million. And it's gonna be an eight week training course that you gotta go to in the islands to, uh, to do this. This billionaire is putting up the money for it. That way you cover yourself. If you got the money to do that, you start saving for it now. It's impossibly, it's impossibly out of my budget. But if, you, um, if you're in a financial league to do that, you know, and you find yourself falling asleep on your lady because you finished first, ladies, you can demand that they take you to this outer space hotel. And you know, you can tell them that if the sex was quick, you know, and it wasn't that good, you can say, at least the sex was out of this world. You got bragging rights for that.